Why did you pull on a fish? This is an interrogation uh, episode. I don't where know. were you on the night of February 28th? <laughs> the night of the the night of the, the infamous fish splicing. Yeah. <laughs> Spicing of the fish. Just like in the the great purge of Rico Montoyas. This isn't funny. Asterisk. That's I, a Genetron reference. Oh, okay. <laughs> What did you put on the fish? Chili powder, of course. Spicy food is going to be the best way to make him happy. She really looks pleased with herself. Water. Hmm? What was that, Genji? You could jump off the balcony. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Why are you sweating like that? Water. Aqua. I die for the sink. Twisting the tap all the way. Water lake. Riva, riva. He's Mexican, how could he not like spicy food? What is this kid? That's true. <laughs> In our head cannon. Yeah, exactly. I don't know how long I sat there afterwards. My sense of time and reason just disappeared for a moment. Oh, so you didn't like it. Of course it did. You probably completely caked it in chili powder. Momoko looks like she's about to cry. Do we have the, the saddest music again, too? We do. Pretty sad, yeah. Oh my goodness. This too sad. Find me. I don't even. I don't. I don't even have words anymore yeah. <laughs> to describe this. I just wanted to make him happy, but I ruined dinner for him instead. Jesus, is it sounds like this is like a. They're making this sound like it's like the turning point of the relationship. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm sorry, Genji. I forgot to tell you that. As a kid, I let my ball roll into the street and your mom swerved and crashed into a tree and died or something. <laughs> Not like, whoops, I put too much chili powder in the, in the, yeah. in the feast. Indeed. <laughs> I really better say something. I don't like seeing Momoko when she's so upset. It's okay, Genji. Throw it out if you don't like it. <laughs> I promise I won't try to cook for you again. <laughs> I mean... I think this would be the smartest again. <laughs> exactly. That's what I was going to say. That seems like the wise choice there. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it. Ayumi could teach you proper cooking. I don't think it, like, I don't think it matters anyway. No, of course but not. But it seems like the Ayumi choices are just the I don't want to die choices. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> so far, they pretty much have been. Yeah. Did you read that? Yep. Okay. Okay. She still doesn't look very happy. Ayumi, the salmon was beautifully cooked. Oh, it's the end slate music. Oh, yeah. I have the super long end slate because I wanted it to start from the beginning of the song. But oh. I also like when the trumpets come in. It, here they come. I don't know, it's just... Maybe because I've heard it, like, more than 30 times at this point, but I really like it. <laughs> I'm becoming inducted or inductionated yeah. into the soccer ways. That's <laughs> got the xylophone. Yeah, it's like really corny, but it's like so upbeat and happy. It's yeah. like it does its job, I'd say. I, I think this is a, a good, a good one. Please, mm -hmm. just no chili powder in the future. Though I guess it is kind of weird in this situation. Yeah. Because Momoko is like. Depressed. Depressed. Especially with the music, it made yeah. it seem like she's like legit depressed. Yeah, indeed. And then all of a sudden we're like, So you make good cooking! Yeah. <laughs> After you just scald, like put Momoko into de severe depression over hers. Indeed. <laughs> uh, of course it was well cooked, idiot. I told you you would want more. My cooking can be compared to that of the gods themselves. It's not like I wanted to cook for you or anything either, so don't get any funny ideas. I don't think that I can eat the rest of these though. Oh well, there's always next time to succeed. <laughs> well, or pizza instead. And thus, the emotion, the quote unquote emotional moment had no consequences. Indeed, yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's just part of Momoko's character. Yeah. Like, I enjoy that about people when they're not easily brought down, you know? Yeah. The they're upbeat and happy the most upbeat. of the time. Yeah, because I was going to say the energetic type, but that's yeah. not necessarily true. I think upbeat and energetic can be different yeah. uh, stereotypes uh -huh. <laughs> or whatever, archetypes. Yeah, yeah. 
That sounds great. Ayumi looks over at the rest of the Kutsanian fillets with disappointment. Couldn't you just like, I don't know, scrape off the chili powder? Because <laughs> I mean, it's not like it's in the meat. You know, I'm sure some of the spices cooked into it. Yeah. I think that'll make that delicious. Personal, just my opinion. Yeah, it doesn't. So. It doesn't. I don't think I like. I said I don't like fish. Yeah. But it, it doesn't sound like it would make it worse. Mm -hmm. It might make it sound sound better even. Indeed. If you would obviously, <clears throat> you might have to scrape off a bit. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, I think actually, Mom Momoko's archetype might be like naive, mm -hmm. because she or or childish, because childlike. Yeah. Because she's either too naive or too childlike to stay sad, mm -hmm. or she just has like you know really quick changes of emotion. Yeah. So I think that's more accurate. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I guess it can't be helped. Unless Momoko wants to sample her own cooking. Um, I think I'll pass this time, Ayumi. Oh, she's actually wise to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure it's delicious, so maybe you should enjoy it yourself. After all, a good chef doesn't taste their own food, food right? That's true. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to pass Gordon Ramsay. It's, it says a good chef, chef doesn't taste their own food. I think that's what she meant. Because that's why she doesn't want to eat it. Oh, okay. Right? Okay, yeah, makes sense. But that doesn't seem like it'd be a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're just, I guess, so that confident that you're like, yeah, I'm Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. I know how to cook. I don't even need to taste it. My food is bloody amazing. <laughs> Granted, the stuff that they that that at that level that they cook, I don't know how you would taste it because it's like the size of yeah. like it's puny. a quarter, mm -hmm. and so if you like taste it, half of it's gone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, actually, I've, I guess unless you like cook a small, a super, even smaller portion for yourself mm -hmm. to sample, though I don't, that probably wouldn't work because if it's a small, if it's like meat, then that would cook faster than normal meat, so yeah. the normal meat might still be raw even, mm -hmm. where the small piece wouldn't. Anyway. <laughs> I watched uh, a Gordon Ramsay show, so I know a little bit about cooking. Excellent. Not how to actually do it, but just what he looked for, at least. Mm -hmm. He'd cook it open. Yeah, not cook it open. He'd chop it open and see if it was raw and stuff. Yeah. But it was the kid's version, so he didn't really yell at anyone. Darn. <laughs> I would hope you would tear into the kids and ruin the one. <laughs> yeah, he was actually nice to them, surprisingly. I was I surprised. I didn't know it was and... possible for Gordon Ramsay to be nice. Indeed. Because I know he's on Jimmy Kimmel, and he kept making fun of him, too. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, I didn't know Gordon Ramsay could be nice. Yeah. But it was surprising to see how good the kids were. Mm -hmm. Granted, that always makes me feel weird. Because I don't know completely their story. Like, with the Olympics, too. It's like, to be good at that age, I'm not completely sure that that could have been their choice. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's a good choice for them or not. I'm not completely sure, either. Like, if they would grow up and like to do it anyway or if they like him and that became their life because they were raised to do that and so basically their life has been determined by their parents i know that in like china they they do raise the, the kid their olympians from children like specifically to be olympians yeah they, like don't they aren't allowed to be with their families or anything oh, okay they're raised specifically to be olympians and then it's funny because the U.S. does better anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Yeah, I was looking at the medals and we're like... It's like more than twice as many total medals, I think, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, and they're in second. Yeah. Japan was in third for a while. But mm -hmm. then uh, China and Britain passed them up. And now I don't know where they are because I only know the top four. Mm -hmm. And Russia was on there too at one point, but they're not anymore. And Excellent. last time I checked, Brazil had like one gold. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess they can't afford to even fix anything, so yeah. why would they have good Olympians? <laughs> anyway. It's like, our... <laughs> their pool water is so disgusting. Yeah. Like, it's all green and crap. Yeah. I would not want to <laughs> be in that at all. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that was creepy to hear Indeed. out of context yeah that probably won't come around the mic though probably not or very quiet yeah. at least this year i actually found out that they have a team uh for 
at the Olympics always called the refugees. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how that works, but it's like the Olympic refugees. So people who like don't have a country for whatever reason, so they're on a team together. Hmm. So that was interesting. Strange. They're not doing particularly well, which yeah, isn't sure. surprising because they don't have a country to pay for all their stuff. Indeed. And assuming they're refugees for a reason, but yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, in this type of game, I can easily cut pretty much anything. Yeah. <laughs> if need be. Indeed. I don't even know if that's necessary now, though. Yeah. Oh, but I also noticed from our end slate, there's times where we've had some 10 minute episodes, but mm -hmm. because our end slate is like 30 seconds long, because I, I wanted to hear that part of the song, it's like it boosted it over 10. I was like, ah. <laughs> That uh, mm. actually, a very important part of cooking is sampling your own food as you go along. You won't become a better chef, don't you? You want to become a better chef, don't you? <laughs> don't you want to try it out for yourself? I, I have to leave the room for pizza, I mean. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. I have. To... I, I have to leave. Oh, uh, okay. okay. I was gonna say, does she have to go get pizza? <laughs> I mean it. <laughs> Did she order it? Is she depressed uh, and asked uh, uh, ice cream? Uh, we'll find out next time. Hopefully later. Hopefully. Okay.